didn't invent plein air painting. It only seems like he did. It only seems like he did because at least uh, from my, my perspective, uh, he transformed our understanding of plein air and art and certainly transformed Toledo. We talked about art and we talked about art in our community. We talked about how do we get art back into the lives of everybody. Young, old, middle-aged, but everybody. Because one of the things we both agreed on is that art is part of civilization and art is part of life. And we need to bring life back to people. But what he did to bring out color in life around us and in industry and items that might not be looked at beauty or as beauty, um, he was really able to pinpoint that and bring that out in anything that he could. Um, as you know, Michael was a good friend and a very fine painter. A good friend to me. He used to call me a painter, and I was always amazed by this, spoken by the legend himself. Many topics Michael would share on Arts Talk. He would take time off if he was in the, this geography, of course, he would take time off to come and be on our OCCA radio uh, program of, um, of Arts Talk. Maybe just talking about plein air painting. And of course, Judy has been on Arts Talk quite a bit. Well, thanks to everybody for coming. Judy, you're amazing. I don't know what he'd have done without you. <laughs> and Casey. Knock them dead. I love the one on the back of the timbers too, so really appreciate it. My brother was born with a natural talent. He, he always had the art in his himself. I watched him paint his first work with some paint by number oils that my mother and I had left over from the most times of his life. This lady, this lady knew how to make this talent. And she is the one. Who made him a famous person. He, has, he was very gracious with the community um, and very gracious with other, other artists and uh, very open to share and to bring people. To all examples, folks, of how this particular artist engaged in the community and made it by sharing arts in these ways and others something that was educational, lasting, and of meaning. I just want to say thank you, Michael. And thank you, John. On my first oil painting class with Michael, and my last, <laughs> he taught me pure tranquility and a new way of experiencing painting plein air. The bugs really stick to the oil paint. <laughs> I will always be grateful to Michael and Judy for bringing their vision to this special town. I think that this is such a, uh, an apt and wonderful addition to the art that, uh, that permeates the community of Toledo. And I think it's so wonderfully reflective of Michael and, uh, and his work. There's one thing missing there, though. There's something missing. Can anybody tell me what it is? Judy. Judy. <laughs> That's right. You know. Well, she took the photo, but, but all of us know and understand that all of Michael's contributions, all of Michael's art, all of the things that he did for the city of Toledo were done in partnership with Judy Gibbons as well. This painting right here epitomizes Michael. His willingness to go out and do what was called plein air painting and just look at the beauty that's all around us right here. The stuff that we take for granted. Michael could paint and bring life to it and make us all realize how special it was to live in this small town with this beauty all surrounding us. Really glad that uh, your legacy is going to live on in this town. And I think everybody here is a testament to what Michael meant to all of us and you meant to us. So thank you. I like to think that all of the art activity I see in Toledo is a joining of Michael's wish to leave a legacy of his art to the community. Michael believed in the beauty of Oregon, and he painted over 5,000 paintings, not 10,000 paintings, that seems a lot, but 5,000 paintings in his lifetime. Let us remember that slogan, 
Toledo, where art and industry live. And I believe that Toledo does both those things really well. They do that living and they have that art here.